Hi, my name is Dr. Sarah Odom, and I am here today to talk to you about a kit that we are creating with Van Ray. Van Ray is the company, the educational and motivational company that I designed for uh, helping teachers, educators, and students with uh, resources, curriculum building, um, evaluations, many different things, ACT prep. But this particular moment, we're going to talk about STEM kits. And actually, they're going to be streams kits because we're not just including science, technology, engineering, and math. We're taking it further to include science, technology, reading, engineering, art, math, and social science. Streams. So our first book and our first kit that we are releasing will be Streamsing with Maracas. And we, we chose this easy, fun activity with students because we know they love music. We know they love culture and to learn about new places. And uh, it's, a, it's very hands-on. So I want to start by showing you the physical kit that you get if you, if you decide to order this kit from us. The physical kit comes with enough materials to do 30 maracas. Inside the kit, you have enough of the little plastic eggs uh, to do 30. So you have 30 eggs and you have 60 spoons to use. They're, um, they're ice cream spoons, really cute colors. And then you have 30 um, small rolls of washi tape and then you also have beans and rice two bags of rice one large bag of beans all this comes within this little sterilite kit and it's uh, easy for you to, to store because it's small and once you empty it you can use it for something else so you can recycle and we also have a book that will come along with the kit and it will be called Streamsing with Maracas. And in each book, there are several sections, each of them to go along with the acronym STREAMS. And this first one we're going to talk to you about is, is uh, the science portion of it. So I just printed out some of this for you. First of all, it will come with vocabulary on some of the sections. Now, this vocabulary is all inclusive from K to 6th grade. Some of it you may not want to use if you're working with younger students. And then if you're working with older kids, you may want to use all of it. It's completely up to you. It is a resource, so use it accordingly. Within... Um, the kit we also have included assessments for you this first assessment is the vocabulary assessment that you can use now it is printable from the book but we also have it included on the online portal for students that will show you in a moment so they can take it online and it can be graded instantly and you can record those results so again we, we are including assessment pieces for you to use that will make it easier for you to gather the data that you need we also provide you with a key for the test so that you'll know what the answer should be. And then notes for each section, uh, it's especially from the uh, articles that we use in our online portal for students to be able to look up and read. So all of this comes in a nice bound book for you. Uh, it's, a, it's a black and white book. It's not in color on, in, on the interior part of the book covers in color but the rest of it is black and white but it is made so that you can print and use it as you need to and so the book comes along with the physical kit now in addition to the physical part of the kit we also have an online portal for students to use and uh, this is our Van Ray portal and it's very easy to use the first things the students would do they would click up in the upper right hand on student portal and I'm going to expedite that because I've got it ready. And then once they click on it, there, there will be a list of modules that students have. Now, for your particular students, when you order the kit, it comes automatically with 30 logins. And all of those students will already be, uh, they'll have only one module, not this whole list of modules that we offer. But their one will be Streamsing with Maracas. And so they will just simply click on that. And once they click on it, they're in the student portal. Now inside the student portal up at the top you can see a series of tabs that they can click on and go to. These tabs include resources, um, their files if you had them upload files to you and you could because with each of the kits comes a teacher login and that teacher is the one over um, the, their set of students so uh, 30 logins, one teacher login, it all comes with each kit preloaded and uh, directions for that will be in your book. Easy, easy, easy uh, logins, 
very easy passwords for the beginning and then what you do is once you get logged in if your students want to change their passwords they can I wouldn't recommend it I'd let them use the one that's that's given with it because it's going to be an easy one and then in addition to that you're, you're welcome to go change your settings too but uh, just know that they come with a preset of, of logins and if something happens and you forget your login what we would do is reset it back to that preset for you you'd go in again and restart but in here you can see uh, first of all our students have they have resources available to them for each area science technology reading engineering um, art math and social science and within each of these I'm just going to click on the science tab you can see that we have loaded several resources for students these are usually PDFs or Word documents that they can go to and, and they can download them if they want or they can read them right there on their screens notice I use a Kindle Fire to show you this on because the program can be opened from any uh, device you use even your phone it is uh, friendly to be open from any place that you have now you, we do tell you that in order for students to use these they're they're going to need to have their pop-up blocker um, turned off because of course as we're working through this uh, some of the videos and things that they that they will go to they will not want to have a pop-up blocker coming up for them here's one of the resources it's actually a document a PDF um, of sound and so as you scroll through it the students are able to see each of the pages and they're able to read the information and so it's a lesson right there for them already created you can either go through the through it with them as a group or you may choose to um, to simply have them go through it on their own and that's perfectly okay so we have we also have let me go back to the top here uh, scroll up or use my arrow rather and uh, we have videos for each of the sections too and uh, right now for this particular module and we're still adding a few things as we're finishing up the book and we realize we want to add something so there may be a few more added but right now we have 11 videos including you know how to make one and so um, several different videos they click on most of them are YouTube videos and uh, if you have any problems with links all you have to do is email us and let us know but we try to check those regularly to make sure that they're all working and so you have videos that you can use um, even how to write a story for younger and older uh, students and the younger students how to write a story is actually a young girl given directions on how to write a story because one of the uh, one of the reading parts is they, they write their own story story using Morocco so um, that is available for them too you also we also have assignments that we list here for them to do uh, you can change and, and add to these if you want but some of the we go through each component from science through social science and we give them a list of things that they can do along with the module to keep up and to learn now again this is teacher driven so if you get in the module and you decide there are some things you don't want your students to do you just simply tell them to skip over that and, and tell them where to go and what you want them to complete we also have assessments that we're uploading for each uh, I, I'm not sure there will be an assessment for each of the components but for the ones that we feel like are, are really come um, are important we definitely are going to add those assessments and I'm going to click on this first science assessment that we have already uploaded here and I want to show you um, what the students will see as they click on that link and they go to if I can get it to click for me uh, as they click on the link they will go to a Google Doc which is actually a Google quiz and you can see they have a nice little maraca if I can get it to show up here maraca science assessment they will take it and they will get instant uh, information for from it so that is also a good thing to know and because of the fact that it is going to be listed by your school uh, if you will let me know uh, teachers can send me their email addresses and I will share this particular school to you uh, and so you would have their data instantly added to you so we will make sure that you get what you need okay now let me go back to 
the uh, top of the page here and I want to show you a couple more things and then we will be done um, we start by having discussions so the students are able to engage with with each other for each topic so for the science portion it says let's talk about the science behind the maraca sound uh, sound waves are created by are caused by vibrations moving through the air the human ear picks up these vibrations and translate them as sound the maraca is a simple instrument and then there's several talking points that we ask them to look at and then we ask them to discuss those talking question points with their peers so they have an active discussion going on without the sound of a lot of discussion going on in the classroom they may have a lot of clicking going on with their tablets or um, their computer labs but they have all of this available to them so you have uh, several discussions one for each topic through streams and uh, I'll just give you one more well the technology one is how to create a Google Doc and then share it and so they talk about how that that's important for technology to be able to utilize the technology they have for music um, they're talking about how music encourages them how they use music uh, what does it do in their life for them and then uh, how that we have them create well this is the reading to create a short story with an instrument of their choice so they don't have to use the maraca they could use any instrument and create a short story about that so that's one of their tasks and it's also started within the discussions and then for engineering we actually want them to develop a their own plan for creating a maraca and it could come from anything and we encourage them to ch choose their own materials don't make it like the one they have in front of them but they actually have to design the plan design draw it out show how they would create it make the step-by-step -step recipe if you will or engineering plan for how to create a maraca and then we also uh, use art and we talk about uh, how that is fun it's creative and then as they design their maracas what colors would they use how would they draw it how would they paint it what designs would they put on it would they change it from a traditional Moroccan sound to maybe one that looks more like the the African model and so um, or would they make it an American model that's completely different from anything that they've seen before and it's okay for them to do that we want them to explore and then with the math of the Morocco we talk about specifically symmetry and how because usually you have two maracas and they, and they usually look typically just the same but um, what about symmetry where does symmetry show up in the world um, and then we can also talk about notes and and the values of notes even the fractional part eighth note sixteenth note quarter note half note whole note what does that mean uh, how do how do we count it um, what is the timing how is that important uh, for the use of the maraca and then we talk about the cultural aspect the social studies social science of the maraca uh, where did the maraca actually originate might be interesting to find out it may not be where you think it came from so where did it originate what are some other names for an instrument similar to the maraca and then which one appeared first so therefore which one might be the original and so there's just a lot of, of fun activities for them to complete on this online module again all of this the kit the book the online component with 30 logins and a teacher login all of this comes together as one uh, streams kit and we would like to know how what you think about it would you use it uh, give us some feedback and uh, we will be releasing this shortly so stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe to this video here if you like it uh, subscribe to Van Ray and also uh, once we have the kit completed and there's a price tag attached to it we will put that information in this video to show you just how you can uh, get what you need it will likely be also available on Amazon and that's what we hope to do uh, as well as some other areas and uh, we look forward to sharing all that with you all thank you so much for listening don't forget to like and subscribe for Van Ray we appreciate your time thanks